Hey, my name is Cami Cleveland. I'm an Alabama Fort State Ambassador, and I'm here with Mrs. Virginia Davis, who is a pharmacist, who is also my great aunt, and I'm going to be asking her some questions. So how did you get into pharmacy? Funny story. I wanted to drop out of high school, but I had to tell my mother what I was going to do. I was dropping out of high school. I told her I was going to go to pharmacy school. I did drop out of high school after the 11th grade because I found a college that would let me go ahead and start as a full-time student. So although I have a pharmacy degree, I have no high school diploma. Okay, cool. So what was your major in college? It was always pharmacy. When I went through pharmacy school, you did two years of pre-pharmacy and three years of pharmacy school. That's right. It's usually three years of pre-pharmacy and then you get into pharmacy school. Some people are doing an actual four-year degree and then going to pharmacy school because it's gotten hard to get into pharmacy school. Okay, thank you. So how long have you been a pharmacist? I was thinking about that just today. I have been behind a pharmacy counter for 45 years now. Wow. It's impressive. So can you tell me what a day as a pharmacist is like? Okay, most of the time you're going to work a shift. And some shifts might be a 9, 10, 12 hour day. Sometimes if you're working for a chain, you'll have a short day and a long day. So it depends on how it's set up. You go in and you usually start off with whatever prescriptions people have walked in with get those filled and then you start looking for the refills that have been called in and you do the refill work in between people walking in. Most pharmacies, especially if you're at a chain pharmacy, you've got a full day of picking up the next prescription, filling it, get that done. The pharmacy prescription volume has increased considerably because we have so many drugs to treat so many different ailments now. Well. Wow. That's cool. So what do you think is the best thing about your job? What I think is the best thing about being a female in pharmacy is it has been easy over the course of my career to work full-time or part-time. And at one point, I even stopped for about two years. When I wanted to get back into it, it was very easy to find a job and go right back in. Um, So for a lot of women... It's a good job in that when you have babies or small children, you can slow down and work part-time. Then when the kids get older, it's easy to get back into full-time. That makes sense, yeah. So what are some skills that you think anyone needs to have going into pharmacy? Okay. You do have to have chemistry and math skills. There's a lot of chemistry that you learn going through pharmacy school. Um, some of the math is just common sense. If you're going to take a pill really? three times a day for seven days, you have to know that's 21 pills you have to dispense. Mm-hmm. Some things like eye drops get real tricky, and you have to be very, very careful and exacting with your math to be able to do that eye drop prescription. It has to be precise. One thing about pharmacy is it's either 100% right or it's wrong. <laughs> There's no, you can give by with cheating on, well, this is close. We'll let it be. I only have 18 pills. They were supposed to get 21. You've got to be precise as a pharmacist. Precision. That makes sense. So how do you see pharmacy evolving in the future? Well, it's changed already a good bit. Uh, Pharmacy is unique in the healthcare professions because it's a business as well as a science. There's an aspect of art to it, being good at, if you're compounding, that's an art really, as much as it is a science. Uh, Pharmacy, like I said, the volume has picked up. It needed a lot more pharmacists. So they've added some pharmacy schools. It's actually gotten easier to get into pharmacy now. But pharmacy has changed, just like doctors now can be a hospitalist instead of an office practice. 
there are clinical pharmacists now that are hired by the hospitals that watch out for what's being prescribed in the hospital. Sometimes they might go on rounds and suggest this is the best drug to give this patient. Whereas in the past, it was always the doctor decided what to give. The pharmacist might make a suggestion, but we didn't actually prescribe. I think you're going to see more of that happening, that the doctor will make the diagnosis and the pharmacist can say, this is what's going on and this is the drug that's needed. But that's pretty much only going to happen in a hospital or a clinic mm -hmm. setting. You still have a part of pharmacy that's called community pharmacy, which is the mom and pops, which is your chain pharmacist that literally just take the piece of paper from the doctor and fill the prescription. Oh my gosh, that's neat. Thank you. So what advice would you give youth wanting to pursue a career in pharmacy? Well, the first thing I usually tell them when they get out of high school and they start to college, take freshman chemistry, chemistry 101. If you can't stand chemistry, you're not going to be happy going through pharmacy school. But that's usually my first you know, prerequisite to go do that. I would also suggest once you get to be 19, go get a job in a pharmacy. In Alabama, they are now requiring some training to be a pharmacy tech. You Get the job first, and then you spend six months doing this training and take a test at the end to show that you've learned what you're supposed to learn and register tech. Now, there's, a, there's also being a certified tech. And if you're wanting to go to pharmacy school, I don't know that I'd worry about being certified. If you're happy just being a tech and you don't want to go to pharmacy school, I would strongly advise you to get to be a certified tech because you can take on more responsibility and you get paid better. Okay, that's really cool, thank you. So those are all my questions I have. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, for kids that are thinking that they'd like to go into pharmacy, you are not allowed to go behind the pharmacy counter yeah. without being uh, registered with the state board. But I would go hang out in one and watch what the pharmacist does, see if it's something you want to do. It would be very hard to get into a hospital setting to watch a hospital pharmacist. But just go observe. It's unique in that we have wonderful patient interaction. For years and years and years, pharmacists were considered to be the most trusted profession. We deal directly with the patients. We get to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one advice giving that some of the other professions just really don't get like pharmacy does. So if you like people, community pharmacy might be the best. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds like a really cool job.